problem with one of the uh, pictures that they've drawn in underneath the ice surface to promote the upcoming All-Star game here in the Civic Arena. Looks like that has created some problems on the ice surface. They were working on it after the warm-up and even now for a few seconds before we get underway, but now the draw as the game gets underway and it's taken by Keith Brown who dumps it into the Penguin zone. Paul Coffey put it around to the right wing boards. Calendar for Lemieux, a lead pass. Graham played the passing lane and picked it off. Now Kane loose to Lemieux into the Hawk zone. Shoot one. And he missed the net going for the long side. All the way back to center and Graham the other way. Cuts in over the line. Cuts in. Shoot. And it's blocked at the defense as sprawling was Hillier. Now Wilson a shot. That sails wide. Graham back to the net. Took a bump from Lemieux who took him off the puck. And Mario Lemieux feeds Kevin Stevens to Coffey. All coffee over the Hawk line, and he lost the handle for a moment. That forced the rush offside. Well, Mary Lemieux missing the net. That enabled Dirk Graham to pick it up at the checker red line, break in on a two-on-one, and he hesitated. He either should have shot sooner or passed it sooner, but he allowed Hillier to get back into the middle and intercept the potential pass just sliding in front of it. Young was anticipating the pass, and there was room on the short side for Graham to let it go, but he elected to pass, and Hillier broke it up. Hillier, the leading plus-minus on the defense for this Pittsburgh team. The Penguins have utilized a different format. Most teams have their wingers up at the point in their own zone. They're going a 1-2-2 situation with the two wingers helping out their defense. That'll give Doug Wilson, Keith Brown, and the Chicago Pointman a lot of opportunities to shoot the puck in tonight's game. Now in the neutral zone, John Cullen puts it back into the Chicago end, taken by Conroy. Steve Conroy for Secord, who rolled it to center. Cullen put it to the far board. Rob Brown dropping it back to his own line. Big Jim Kite slides it into Chicago territory, taken by Conroy. For Secord on the left side. Couldn't hold the pass, but does bang it loose to center. Penguins right back in. Here's Cullen a shot and a save by Chevrier, who juggles and now goes down to smother it. John Cullen on the line with Bork. They've been red hot. Bork has got four goals in his last two games. John Cullen has been hot of late with a five-game scoring streak. He has eight points in that span. He elects to shoot with a bouncing puck. Chevrier made the save and then juggled momentarily and tried to put it to his skates and it almost put it behind himself. Lane Chevrier trying to get on the win column again as far as the Blackhawks are concerned. He's been struggling in that department. Only one win in his last six decisions. One four and one during that time. Now Savard going after the draw against Jamie Leach and Savard won it and Warmer cleared it out to center ice. Oh, Kachowski dumped it back into the Hawk zone. Caulfield, oh, he just railroaded Greg Gilbert with a high stick. That might be five. Greg Gilbert went sprawling to the ice, and he's hurt. They're calling for the trainer, Mike Gapsky, to get out there in a hurry. Jay Caulfield just raked Gilbert right across the head. Caulfield had 285 minutes in penalties last year. He's 6'3", about 240 out there as an enforcer. He got the stick right around the face of Greg Gilbert, and Gilbert went down in a hurry, and it might be a five-minute penalty, but it's a discretionary call. You'll have to wait and see before Gilbert can get up and take a better look at the situation, but here's to be the mouth area, and a lot of blood on the ice. Puck was dumped into the Blackhawks' zone. Caulfield gives a shot, and then the stick comes around. One hand on the stick slaps Gilbert in the face, right in the mouth area, bleeding profusely from the mouth, Caulfield's gone to the showers, and it'll be a five-minute power play situation for the Blackhawks. So a five-minute high-sticking penalty in the automatic game misconduct to Jay Caulfield. And an opportunity for the Hawk power play right off the get-go here. The Pittsburgh penalty-killing team has been very good lately. They've allowed only one out of 17 to be scored again. Meanwhile, the Hawk power play struck twice the other night against Toronto after a prolonged slump and the Hawks just three of their last 24 with the extra man. Here's the draw now taken by Trent Yanni. Yanni bouncing it into the Penguin zone. 
Larmer scoops in behind the net. Put it over to the far point. Here's Wilson up the board to Savard. Dennis Savard to Wilson. The long shot and a save by Young. Rebound. Larmer and a stick tied up. Nice play by Zalapski. And the puck cleared to the line. Not out. Here's Larmer. A shot. Big save by Young. And he hangs on. Steve Larmer won't miss very often from where he was right between the rings. But Wendell Young had the answer that time. Wendell Young makes a good save on Doug Wilson. The screen shot. And a feed from Dennis Savard. Nice soft pass by Savard. And then Larmer gets it on the rebound from Savard again. And a good glove save by Young. I don't know if Larmer got all of that. It seemed to flutter a little bit as he let it go. Puck was a bit behind him, and he just turned and fired, and I don't think he got all of it. Now the draw on the Penguin zone. Back of the net, Larmer dueling there with Johnson. Came loose to Larmer. Out to the near point, Yanni. Moves into the deep slot. Now drops it to Wilson at the far point. Back to Yanni. He sends it around the board. There's Larmer on the near side. Leaves it in the corner. Big scrum for it there. And now Larmer came up with it. Then gave it away to Quinn. Dan Quinn motors into the hog zone. Larmer caught him from behind to break up the rush. And in the penguin zone, Young able to clear it himself down into the hog zone. The first minute of the five-minute power play is expired, and now Jeremy Roenick gets it into the Penguin zone. He's sandwiched along the board. Coffee looking to clear, fail to get it out. Creighton trying to center it. Here's Thomas, a bouncing puck, couldn't find the handle. Thomas on the near side, drops it to Brown. For Thomas along the board. To the deep slot in Brown. Far side, Wilson cutting in. He centered it, a shot and a save by Young. And he hangs on as Savard tried to... Tuck it in, or Ronick rather. And a penalty is going to be called here again. It might be offsetting penalties, but Creighton is one of the guys, and I think Coffee might get offsetting penalties. An elbow and a slashing penalty call. Creighton and Coffee both. It's sent off as Jeremy Ronick tried to tuck one in. Young deflected with the stick and then gloved it as it fell behind him and prevented from crossing the line. The Hawks got away with a hand pass in the offensive zone. Prior to that, along the board, it was swatted to a hot pair by a glove, but no one saw it, and the Blackhawks were allowed to continue and almost score. Coffey, meanwhile, and Creighton both sent up at 3.05 of the first period. Still three and a half minutes left on the major penalty to Caulfield of the Penguins. Here's the draw, and it's cleared by Lemieux back into the Chicago zone. Keith Brown lost it to Lemieux. Now Brown getting it back. He's knocked down from behind by Stevens. Here comes Lemieux. Lemieux trying to waste some time at center. Dropped it to Kevin Stevens. Put it back into his own end. And now Deneen fires it down all the way. Three minutes left on the Hawk power play. Keith Brown puts Roenick to center. On a walk around tight, he did, but the puck swatted loose to the boards, and it came free to center. Here comes Phil Bork. In on Wilson, trying to cut around him. Doug Wilson said no as he played the body perfectly. And Savard mishandles at center. Wilson has to regroup in his own end. Bob Murray is back in the Hawk lineup tonight. He cleared it to center, and here comes Graham. Dirk Graham gains the line, put it to Savard, walking into the far circle, dropped it for Wilson. Back into the corner it goes. Savard, a hand pass there as he gloved it to his teammate Graham, and the whistle sounds now tight in Secord. Jawing back and forth, Graham stepped in there, and the linesmen do as well, and that'll be all for now. A full house in the penalty box as far as the Pittsburgh Penguins side. Copy. Brown is in there serving the penalty to Caulfield, and then Kite was added as well. Secord and Creighton on the Chicago side. Well, the Penguins have weathered the first half of the Chicago power play. And the faceoff here outside the Penguin line. Now here's the draw taken by Wilson. Gave it to Bob Murray. He had it bounce away from him, but Troy Murray got to it. And he dumps it into the Penguin zone. Steve Thomas into the near corner. 
Rolled it around to the far side and Larmer. Out to the line, Wilson. His return pass stolen by Quinn. And he shot it to center ice. Now a steal by McBain for the Penguins. He cleared it outside the line and the Hawks are back in offside. The Penguins want an intentional offside call, forcing to face off back in the Hawks zone, but on Finn, the veteran linesman says no, and the face off will originate just outside the Penguin blue line. Not much going on here in the middle part of this power play. They had a couple of chances right off the bat. The first 30 seconds, Doug Wilson and Larmer had good chances. Ronick had a partial chance. Deflected shot, and didn't have much on it, but that's about it. And only a minute 55 to go in the five-minute high sticking penalty to Coffee. Doug Wilson's been on for the entire power play, beating Savard. Savard steps into the Penguin zone, put it to Larmer near side, mishandled it. Back comes Quinn the other way. Dan Quinn one on one against Wilson, waits for some help. Here's Johnson cutting in, he shoots, and Severier got a piece of that, deflecting it wide. Back come the Blackhawks now. Ronick over the line on the far side. Dropped it for Thomas. Fires. He scores! Steve Thomas on the Blackhawk counterattack after the Penguins barely missed a shorthanded chance. Hawks come the other way, and Thomas makes it 1 0 Chicago. Thomas's eyes as big as saucers in that situation, lighting up as the puck came perfectly to him. And he just cranked it up. He was in full motion. Jeremy Ronick tried to drop past the Larmer, missed him, and went right to Thomas. The puck fluttering on edge, and Thomas gets all of it, just blows it by Young on the counter after the Penguins miss a good shorthanded situation. Jim Johnson's shot deflected wide and swatted to the sideboards by Doug Wilson, and Thomas makes them pay on the power play. Steve Thomas scores his 10th of the year, becoming the fourth Hawk player to reach double figures. Ronick and Larmer assisting on the power play at 5.09. And the Hawks still have 120 left with a man advantage due to the five-minute major penalty. Now it's back into the Penguin zone, but it sneaks past everybody down into Chicago territory. Doug Wilson leading Wayne Presley on the move at center. Presley on right wing over the line. Now swings it around the boards. Creighton chasing after it. Tied up by Hillier, who wins the battle, and he clears. Devrier bounced it himself to center ice. Here's Creighton battling his way over the line, feeding Savard, cuts into the slot, shooting, he scores! Dennis Savard, sick handle around a check and fired it in off the near post. The fans hollering it was an offside play, but Creighton remained onside at center to keep it alive, and it's 2-0 Chicago. The long reach of Adam Creighton, the puck on the line, it never went outside the line, it has to totally come outside the line. Savard picked it up, little fake move, and then Coffee jumped over the shot. He got out of the tried to jump out of the way, but clearly was onside. Savard moves to his forehand into the middle of the ice inside the hash marks, and Coffee jumps out of the way, screens Young, and Savard puts it in off the post. But Coffee, I don't understand why he would jump. Savard's shot. Dennis Savard's ninth goal of the year from Creighton and Chevrier at 5:52, and after a frustrating first part of the power play on the major to the Penguin Caulfield. The Hawks strike twice in just uh, over 40 seconds and grab a 2-0 lead. Now it's dumped into the Penguin zone. Still half a minute left in the major penalty. Jim Johnson for Pittsburgh. Trying to clear it. Thomas held it in. Cutting in center. It a tip and a save by Young as Ronick redirected it. Now Thomas near corner. Steve Thomas put it out to the line. Savard back to Thomas along the boards. Returning to Savard. Here's the long shot. That didn't get through the traffic. Graham to the corner. And it's taken away by Johnson. He couldn't clear it. Comes around to the near side. The Penguin penalty finally over. Both teams at full strength. Thomas trying to muscle in. He shoots. And a save by Young. And the Penguins clear it to center ice. Doug Wilson has been on the ice virtually since the game started. Cleared it to center where Graham shoots it in. And now into the near corner it goes. Big battle along the boards. Eagles trying to jam it out of there. He does behind the net. Now Zalapski poked it free. Conroy held it in, rolled it to the slot, but Coffee steals away to Cullen. John Cullen lost it for a moment at center. Now shot it into the Blackhawk zone, taken by Brown. Pete Brown looking for Presley. He lost it to Cullen in the center ice area. Now here's Phil Bork over the line trying to split the defense. He's knocked down. And the fans holler for a penalty, but Hogarth lets them play on. 
Here comes Presley for Chicago. To the line, shooting. Young to stand up, save. Rebound, Creighton. He's tied up along the board. Battling there with Hillier in the corner. Van Dorp digging it loose. He centered. Coffee blocked that pass. Now Rob Brown of the Penguins. Got it around to the near side. Bill Bork knocked down by Ronick, who took it away, but then Bork got it back. And he put it into the center ice area. Wayne Van Dorp, the ex-Penguin. Tied up there. Rob Brown took it away. And Brown on the right wing board. Carries it over the Hawk line. Left it for Lemieux. The pass, an errant one, but Stevens held it in. Kevin Stevens' speed is broken up, and McGill shot it to center ice. Roy Murray now works it into the Penguin zone. Murray trying to center it. Graham, his speed broken up, though, and out come the Penguins. Jock Callender, they're going to be a Hawk penalty. Callender over the line, shooting, and a save by Chevrier. Lemieux went down at center ice, and the Penguins now will move in. A shot and a save by Chevrier. Lemieux got back up. And had a great chance. Chevrier shut the door, but now Pittsburgh to the power play. It's 2-0 Chicago. Steve Thomas goes to the penalty box for hooking Lemieux. Lemieux went down in a hurry, taking a bit of a dive in the neutral zone. Hogarth went for it. Good play by Lemieux. After the Blackhawks had a five-minute power play, Lemieux really goes down in a hurry. Just hooked. And then he picks up the loose puck on the p- delayed penalty call and lets it rip. Chevrier goes down, makes the save. But he's been down since that save and hasn't been able to get back up on his own. In the busy first half of the period for trainer Mike Gapsky had to tend to Greg Gilbert who appeared to lose some teeth. And Elaine Chevrier is in some pain. Stands restless. So to- So Chevrier ready to go, and the Penguins will crank up their first power play chance of the game. Pittsburgh six out of their last 24 with the extra man. Quinn is up in front with Lemieux and Stevens. Zalapski and Coffey are at the point. Here's Coffey, top of the far circle. Put it to Lemieux, shooting. He golfed it up high as the puck was fluttering on him. And it winds up back at center ice where Creighton gathers it in. Steps over the line. Creighton trying to get around Zalapski, who went down, but was able to sweep it away to Stevens. Kevin Stevens chips it to center. Keith Brown broke it up. And now Zalapski carries on. Zarly Zalapski works his way into the hog zone. Stops on the far side. Swung it around behind the net. Quinn. Doug Wilson steps into him. Now Wilson had lost the stick, picks it up and throws it ahead. That's a defensive play. It continues on. Here's Graham with a long shot, and Coffey blocked that. Now Paul Coffey leading Mario Lemieux at center ice. His pass picked off by Conroy. And Steve Conroy bangs it back into the Penguin zone. A minute remaining on the Pittsburgh power play. Bill Bork. Cleared it to center. Here's Coffey racing over the line. On the glide. Right in. He shoots. And a save by Chevrier. And then out of midair, Troy Murray may have saved a goal as he swatted it out to center ice with brilliant hand-eye coordination. And the Hawks clear it down the rest of the way. Boy, when Coffey winds it up, there is no more beautiful skater to watch. And he just blew right by everybody on that last rush. Well, nobody gets the top speed quicker than Paul Coffey. It seems like he so effortless on his skates, he just glides and he just blew around everyone and Chevrier made an excellent save and then Troy Murray I think prevented it from crossing the line batting it out of midair but Chevrier still in a bit of pain after stopping Lemieux's shot earlier Lemieux and Coffey have had field days against the Blackhawks in their careers Lemieux with 15 goals in 15 games against the Blackhawks Coffey had 17 goals and 30 assists 47 points Lifetime against the Blackhawks. But Coffey just glides. And he surprises people. You think he's in the spread just coasting, but he's at full speed. Halfway through the first period, Chicago leading Pittsburgh 2 to nothing, And the Penguins with one more rush on this power play. Here's Darley Zalapski dumping it in. 
Savard over skates it along the board. John Collins picks it up. Side of the net for Lemieux. Back to Collins, the give and go. He couldn't hold the pass. Lemieux has it again. Lemieux to the line, Zalapski. Back to Big Mario along the board. Side of the net, Cullen moves in front. His pass blocked by a sliding Wilson. The Hawk penalty now over. Both teams at full strength. Lemieux holding it in. Lemieux on the near side, centered it. Rob Brown couldn't pick it up. Thomas drilled him into the corner. Wilson will take a whistle as he just turns and fires it down, allowing the Hawks to regroup with the icing call. Nine minutes remaining in the first. Chicago two, Pittsburgh nothing. Mike Keenan Chicago Club has managed just one victory in their last eight road games, but benefiting from a major penalty against the Penguins have take themselves to a 2-0 lead here in the first period tonight. Jeremy Roenick deep in his own end. Put it into the corner. Bob Murray dueling there, trying to get away. He's knocked down. Now dug out by Recky, who centered it, but Chevrier alertly blocking the pass. And out comes Larmer. He dumps it in, hoping for Roenick. Racing after it, he's knocked down. And the play continues. Roenick back on his feet, working hard along the board. Got it to the line, McGill along. Shot, and a save by Young. Rebound to the Penguins. Jamie Leach trying to clear. Unable to get it out of there. Now Gord Deneen for Pittsburgh. Deneen gave it to Kite. Tied up along the boards, and... Now Mark Recchi bounces it back into the Chicago zone. Bob Murray sends it ahead to Eagles, a two-line pass, and the whistle sounds. The pass was intended for McGill, but he missed it. Eight minutes to go in the, in the first period. The Blackhawks had 2 nothing. Caulfield had ejected early in the game for high sticking. And now Phil Bork has gone to the Penguin locker room. Bork, who had missed four games earlier with back spasms, spasms, I should say, is left with eight minutes to go. Here's Coffee a long shot, missing the target, comes to the near side. Oh, big scrum along the boards, and Ronick dug it out of there. Or Presley, rather. Presley, two on one over the line, cutting in. Here's the shot. But well, Paul Coffey went down to block the drive. And it's cleared back to center. Here's a lead for Lemieux over the line, trying to walk in. Eagles hog ties him from behind. That'll be a penalty. The wraparound. And it just rolled off the end of Lemieux's sticker. He had the Penguins' first goal. But Pittsburgh will go to the power play here. They trail the Hawks 2 to nothing. This is Chicago Blackhawk hockey. Mike Eagles recently called up from the minors in his third game with the Blackhawks. Gets a penalty for holding. Mr. Paul Coffey broke up a two-on-one with Van Dorp and Presley. Lemieux counters. And Eagles reached out with his right arm to grab the stick of Lemieux. And the Penguins get their second straight power play. And Lemieux on the delayed penalty call just failed to score on the wraparound. I don't think anybody can do it better than Lemieux with that great reach of his. Great hand. Now the draw in the Hawks zone. Taken by Coffey. To the near circle, Lemieux touch pass a coffee, a shot, and a save by Chevrier, and he hangs on. Mario Lemieux and Paul Coffey are always on the ice together, and they really have developed a sense for where one another will be, and they always really seem to look for each other, maybe even before anybody else. Lemieux is such a great passer. Coffey can let it go on the fly. He's able to anticipate where Lemieux is going to put it. He glides so effortlessly, and he lets the shot go in a hurry. At, a, at least one shot on goal in every game this year, and he leads the team in defenseman as far as shots on goal. He had 102 coming into this game. Face off to the right of Chevrier. Now Quinn and Creighton get ready, and they dropped it unfairly. Penguin power play this year. 13th overall with 27 goals at 20.5%. Expect bigger numbers with the people they have on the ice. Lemieux in the deep spot, long wrist shot. Chevrier saw it all the way, gave it a Wilson, but he couldn't get it out. And then Lemieux with an errant pass, and Coffee had vacated the zone. Couldn't get back in time to keep it in. The offside call result. 
Jeffrey gloving that long wrist shot from Lemieux, not much on it, and then wisely gave it to Wilson. Lemieux showing great hands. Not easy thing to do to stop a Doug Wilson clearing attempt. It was on the ice, but it has great velocity. Lemieux last night, apparently, in the winning goal, anticipated that the shot from the point might go wide, swatted it out of midair, full force, picked it up, and then put it into the empty net for the game winner. Talked about great hand-eye coordination. Now Zalapski turning deep in his own end. Gave it to Coffey. All oh, Coffey winds it up. He glides into the hog zone. Dropped it for Lemieux on the near side. He centered one, deflected by Wilson over to the far corner. Now Larmer trying to bang it loose there. He did to Graham. Graham cleared it to center. Larmer racing after it. He's going to get there. Larmer in over the line, shooting. And a save by Young. Rebound to the Penguins as the Hawks are caught. Here's a four-on-two rush. Lemieux in over the line, drops it in front. Stevens, big save by Chevrier. And now with some help from uh, Conroy, Chevrier able to smother it. And the Penguins on a quick counterattack. That time had a good scoring opportunity. Both Larmer and Graham got caught in the Pittsburgh zone after Larmer's shot. They both bumped into each other in front of the Penguin net. Four on two breakout. Hawk defense change on the fly, but fortunately their bench was on the right side. Chevrier makes the save. Chevrier having trouble with his left leg, it appears. His left knee inside of his left leg. Made the save, and then after he made the save, got up and skated to the corner to try and shake that injury away. Meanwhile, whatever was ailing Phil Bork has been taken care of, and he has returned to the Penguin bench. Draw shot back into the Pittsburgh zone. All coffee. Cleared at the center. Here is Bork. Got a pair of goals in each of the last two games. Got it to Lemieux over the line. He lost it. And it's cleared to center right. Coffey. Works it back into the Chicago zone. Trying to get around Conroy, who spun him around. Stolen by Troy Murray. Then he gave it away to Lemieux, who centers. Rob Brown couldn't find the bouncing puck. Savard does. Dennis Savard battles it ahead. Got it to Conroy. Tees it up. His shot. And a safe rebound. Savard right out of midair. And Young able to smother it. Savard whacked that one right out of midair. Chest high. And Young able to make the save. Just a couple seconds left on the Hawk penalty. Here come the Penguins. Rob Brown in traffic is knocked down. Taken away by Bob Murray. And as he comes to center, the Hawk penalty is over. Both teams at full strength. Murray a long shot, dipping, but it sailed wide of the net. And we're back at full strength for both clubs. Deep in the Penguin zone, Ronick in the corner. Working against Cullen. Now they battle away behind the net. Came free to Rob Brown who pushes it out to center ice. Wayne Presley sends it back in as the Hawks head for a change. Jock Callender comes away. Callender in over the Chicago line. Rolled it into the corner. Keith Brown got it to Seacourt on the left side. Now Roenick to center. Jeremy Roenick into the Penguin zone. Lost the handle and Jim Tice got it to center ice. The Penguins look to move in. But the rush broken up by Doug Wilson, who feeds Keith Brown. Put it back into the Penguin end. Taken by Gord Denis. He flipped it to the neutral zone. Callender dropping it back for Denis in his own end. Now Kachowski failed to pick it up at center. Jim Kite does. And Kite. Will take a long shot up high off the glass. Taken by Graham. And now a whistle off the play. And the Hawk goal, I think, came off the mooring. Four minutes to go in the opening period. Chicago 2, Pittsburgh nothing. Dennis Savard swatting a rebound in a minute. He waited until it was below his shoulders and then just got enough of it and forcing Young to come up with a good save. Now the draw taken by Conroy, feeding Graham on the right side at center, dumping it in, hoping for Thomas. Young poked it away from him. Troy Murray got to it, though, turns behind the net. Murray to the near point. Yoni with a long shot. Young to save through a screen. Didn't see it till the last second. And now it's cleared to center ice. Right. Conroy. Got it to Graham. Now Thomas. He's tied up along the board. 
And Coffey starts the Penguins back. Oh, Coffey motors over the Hawk line on the far side. Dropped it in front. Recky couldn't get to the loose puck. Graham does. And back come the Blackhawks. Graham will dump it in and head for a change. Now the Penguins' Dan Quinn ran into his own man, McBain, allowing Savard to steal it. Savard over the line for Bob Murray, and he couldn't find the handle. McBain does for Lemieux, two on one. Terry Lemieux over the line with Recky, cuts and shoots, hit the goal post. Lemieux fired it by Chevrier's glove and cranks it off the far pipe. Now Secor the other way. Failed to get it in there. Stevens coming back, and we may have too many men on the ice. Ron Finn making the call in front of the Penguin bench. And it looks as if the Penguins got caught in a bad chain. It appears the Hawks will benefit with a power play. So a late first period power play for the Blackhawks, and Keith Brown has room to center ice. He'll dump it in. Savard to the far corner, leaves it there for Creighton. Out to the line, Wilson. To the near point in Brown. Hutch pass to Thomas along the board. Steve Thomas taking, now trying to make a play. It didn't connect. Brown managed to hold it in, though. Now is Steele, and here comes Lemieux to center right. Lemieux in over the line. Keith Brown able to corral him. Lemieux trying to take a dive, but the play goes on. Here's Thomas into the Pittsburgh zone, and Creighton couldn't keep it in there. Now bouncing around at center, then Thomas steps into the Pittsburgh end. Threw it into the far corner, Savard. Lost it there to Jim Johnson, who pounds it to the near side. Bob Murray keeping it in. Up the boards away from Thomas, and now Savard has it on the far side. Dennis Savard to the line, taken by Yanni across to Bob Murray. His long shot, and a save by Young. Rebound to the near corner. Big pile up there. Zalabski wants a whistle if he can get it. Oh, and now Lemieux and Creighton doing. There's going to be another Penguin penalty as Lemieux just clobbered Creighton from behind. Here's Thomas with a shot. Young the save. Rebound Yanni. For Larmer, the long drive. That sailed up high, and then Young gathers it in off a of Savard stuff attempt. And now some pushing and shoving around the Penguin net, but Lemieux and Creighton were dueling back and forth, and then just and then Lemieux just uh, cross-checked Creighton from behind, right in the head, it looked like. Cross-checked him and then hit him with a straight right. He got away with the cross-check, but he continued and just drove him with a straight right, right to the chops, and Lemieux will go to the penalty box. The Blackhawks will have a two-man advantage for 23 seconds with a minute 21 to go in the first period. Lemieux trying to get the puck loose. Thomas in there. Cross-checks great. Cross-checks him, and then as he comes back, he just drills him with a straight right. And now the Penguins in more penalty trouble. They're two men short for the next 23 seconds. Face off to the right of Young. Here's the draw taken by Wilson. In front to Savard, lets it go. Didn't get it through as Kite blocked the shot. Savard at the near point. Now far side to Wilson. Back to Savard, deep slot. He centered it. Oh, Ronick deflected it just wide. He was open at the side of the net. Larmer put it in front. Wilson for Ronick. Couldn't find the handle. Dan Quinn then failed to get it out as Wilson held it in beautifully. Here's Ronick cutting in front, shooting. Young to save rebound. Young, nice save as Troy Murray couldn't lift it. With a goaltender down. The first penalty over now, and the Penguins are one man short. Wendell Young with a good save on the first shot, and then a better save on Troy Murray's rebound. He couldn't put it over him. He was in too close. Good job by Wilson keeping it in, and a failed clearing attempt by Quinn. Banks it off the boards to Ronick. A bouncing puck goes to his forehand, lets his shot go to the short side. Kicked away by Young, and then Young, as he was down, was able to stop Troy Murray. Minute 31 remaining on Lemieux's penalty, only 52 seconds to go in the first period. This is the fifth power play of the contest for the Blackhawks. Now Larmer on the far side, near point to Savard, faking, then centered one, big scramble in front, Creighton the shot, he scores! Adam Creighton! After Young appeared to make the save, it dribbled in past him, and Adam Creighton puts the Hawks up Three to nothing, Creighton with just his third goal and fifth point on the road all year. 
He makes the save, Young does, on Creighton's first shot and then kicks it in himself. Savard didn't get much on it. He was take the shot. The top guy didn't go for it, so he slipped it to the net. It was kicked to Creighton, his first shot, and then it went in off the heel of Young's skate after he made the save. Adam Creighton's 10th from Savard and Larmer, 19-21. And all three Hog goals with the power play tonight. So this is their biggest power play output of the year. The Hawks have never scored more than two power play goals in any single game this year yet. Here's the play into the Hog zone. Coffee on the near side. Weaving into the deep slot, then shot it to the far board where Wilson steals. He cleared it to center. Thomas is there for Troy Murray. Back to Thomas, but he'll run out of time as the first period comes to an end. Here we go with the second period, the draw. That center ice taken by Thomas, looking to send to the head. Creighton battles away from Hillier. Now leads for Thomas. His shot didn't get through, though. And Lemieux takes over for Pittsburgh, beating Stevens. Evan Stevens over the Hawk line for Callender, who's centering past the flex over to the far side. All Coffey able to hold it in for Lemieux. Walks into the slot, shooting. And a save by Chevrier. Rebound to the near corner, Callender. Put it around behind the net. Lemieux trying to center it. Chevrier blocked the pass. And he's able to smother it as Stevens and Wilson dueling at the side of the net. Now everybody gathers around. Well, you almost surprising Chevrier. Chevrier acrobatically reaching behind, preventing it from crossing the line. But Lemieux very dangerous from the side of the net. When you think he's at a poor angle, he's able to take advantage of his reach and make it a good angle. But a quick turnaround shot off the skate, I think, of the defenseman and right into Chevrier and then Stevens and Wilson get involved no damage done so the draw will be to the right of Elaine Chevrier as Savard and Quinn get ready Quinn won the draw here's Kite the long shot sailing wide and Secord on the left side with some room clears the center Savard couldn't hold the pass now bouncing back into the penguin zone and on the delayed offside call the whistle sound Lemieux last year in three games against the Blackhawks at 15 points. This holds nine assists. In the first game in the Chicago Stadium in the first period, he had a goal and an assist, and that's all he ended up with. And one of the reasons why the Blackhawks were able to come from behind. Meanwhile, Dennis Savard, you touched on it early tonight, Dale, that the Hawks have been looking to get some increased production from their centers. Dennis Savard did not have a point in his last three games. He picked up a goal and an assist in the first period here tonight likewise Adam Creighton had one and one also here's a draw Secord near corner cuts in behind the net trying to center it came out to the line here's Conroy with a long shot tip deflected just wide Savard sent it Presley and he had it roll off the end of his stick from close range now the Penguins come back the other way Coffey races over the Hawk line on Conroy trying to center it a shot and a goal Mario Lemieux fought off a check to power it by Chevrier Lemieux with a point in 18 straight it's 3-1 Chicago well, Lemieux showing great strength and balance Secor couldn't do much more with him he back checked with him appeared to have him tied up but Paul Coffey with his great speed circled in on the off wing goes in behind the net the backhand pass right out to Lemieux Secor thought he had him tied up but Lemieux was still able to get the shot away, taking advantage of his strength and reach. Coffey, the angle him off to the corner. This is exactly what you'd like to do. But Lemieux was able to get away from Secord and shovel it through Chevrier. And the Penguins dent the net at 118 of the second period. 19th goal of the year for Lemieux. Coffey and Stevens assisting at 118. So the Penguins get off to a roaring start here in the second period. Now McBain dumps it in. Doug Wilson back of the net. Looking for Larmer, and he loses him back into the Pittsburgh zone. Jim Johnson clears. Now Wilson got it to Larmer. Forced to turn in his own end. Steve Larmer leaves it for Keith Brown behind the net. Now Wilson, who played nearly 11 minutes in the first period, cleared it out to center, Mike Eagles. Lost it as he came over the line, and the offside call is the result. We get a report on Greg Gilbert, who was a victim of that five-minute high stick from uh, Jay Caulfield early in the game. Three teeth knocked out of his mouth. And 
and uh, stitches in both lifts. All right, here's the draw now to the Penguins. Rob Brown over the Hawk line, trying to center it. A shot, they score! John Cullen and Chevrier can't believe that went in. Cullen from a terrible angle still shot it in. 3-2 in favor of the Hawks. You really have to be strong at both blue lines. Bob Murray victimized at the Penguin blue line. An odd man situation inside the Hawk blue line. They give up the line and Cullen on a feed from Brown. Brown crosses the line. Quick little pass to Cullen. Cullen with a quick shot. And under the blocker of Chevrier and inside the post. And it's a 3-2 hockey game. And Cullen just a, not a hard shot, but a very accurate one. But the Blackhawks got in trouble at the Penguin line. Brown crossed the Hawk line after stripping it away. And Cullen with a quick wrist shot now has a six-game scoring streak with three goals and nine points in that span. Cullen from Brown at 2.22, and Chevrier is coming out of the game. Elaine Chevrier is out, and Jacques Cloutier will replace him. One thing about Mike Keenan, he won't sit still. He won't wait. All right, here's the draw now. Taken by the Penguins, Dan Quinn. His own end of Zalapski. Now he cleared it up the board. Jamie Leach got it to center. Keith Brown dumping it in. Charlie Zalapski back for it. Zalapski able to clear it to center ice. Doug Wilson got it to Dirk Graham turning in his own end. Graham feeds Keith Brown back to Graham. Steps over the line, shooting. And a rocket, he fired it just wide. Comes to the near side, held in by Thomas. He centered it, and Graham couldn't find the handle. He was all alone in front. Back come the Penguins, Quinn in on Yanni. Trent Yanni rides him off into the corner. Ruche put it around to the near side. Taken by Thomas, who rolled it to center right. Zalapski cleared it ahead, broken up by Yanni, and Zalapski retreats into his own end. He gave it to Jim Johnson, whose pass is broken up, and the Hawks are in offside. It's early in the second period, but the Penguins off to a rip roaring start. Now Chicago three, Pittsburgh two. Troy Murray and Lemieux ready, and Murray wins the draw to Yanni. Brent Yanni trying to feed Murray. Couldn't hold the pass, and the Penguins dump it back in. Conroy looking for Secord. Forced in behind the net. Now Yanni is there. Cleared it to the near board. Hillier unable to hold it in as Secord rolled it to the Penguin zone. Taken by Paul Coffey. Gave it to Jock Callender. Secord stepped into him on the board, but Callender held the puck. Failed to clear it, though. Secord took a bump, and it jumped up over the glass and into the crowd. Now a little gathering as a couple of Penguins had Secord surrounded. He didn't like the... probably didn't like the aroma of that situation and trying to get himself out of that little scramble. And now the line's been able to keep everybody separated. Luce, who's had a great home record for the Blackhawks, Undefeated on home ice has nine wins, three losses, and a tie, and a 3.30 goals against them. Now the draw in the Pittsburgh zone. Adam Creighton clearing it into the corner and controlled now by Deneen. Or Deneen with a spinorama move, almost lost the handle. He might have got himself a little dizzy now. Creighton took a bump, rolled it into the corner. Larmer trying to center it, hits the skate. Creighton, a nice play by Jim Kite, just as Creighton wanted to let it go. Kite knocked him down with an aggressive hit. Here come the Penguins back. Recky trying to center it. Through to Quinn. He's put it in front. Hit wide. That would have been interesting if that had gone in. McBain had the skate on it. And uh, anyway, no damage done as the Hawks clear it back into the Pittsburgh zone. Denise. Cleared it to center ice. And now a penguin shaken up along the far side in a big collision. It looked like uh, Van Dorp. And Cullen came together hard along the boards, and Cullen slow to get up.
So Cullen off under his own power and face off will be just outside the Penguin zone. Now the draw taken by the Penguins. Here comes Zalapski playing in only his 13th game of the year because of a broken collarbone. Zalapski recently back in the lineup, clears it around behind the net. The goal dislodged, and faceoff is going to be moved outside the Chicago line as it was the Penguins that knocked it loose. Now they get ready outside the Hawk line. Faceoff controlled by the Blackhawks. Here's Conroy. He pounds it into the Penguin zone. Roy Murray whacked it in behind the goal. Zalapski poked it over to the far side. Secor tried to center, but Zalapski picked it off, and here come the Penguins. Zalapski motors into the Chicago zone on Conroy. Quick stop. He put it to the trailer. Here's a shot by Johnson and a save by Cloutier. Rebound behind the net. Rob Brown centered it, and the Blackhawks feel that. Yanni leads Chicago back to center. He'll dump it in as the Hawks peel off for a change. And now Cullen for Pittsburgh. John Cullen tied up by Savard. Now back in the Penguin zone. Taken by Jim Johnson. He cleared it to center. Here's Zalapski dumping it into the Blackhawks zone. Pittsburgh countering with a change as Keith Brown sends it ahead to Larmer. Dumping it into the Pittsburgh end. And it's going to be ruled icing against Chicago as they say Larmer had not gotten to center. 13 and a half to go in the second period. 3-2 Chicago. Draw on the Hogs on to Coffee. Let's it go. He scores! Paul Coffey, as Cloutier came 20 feet out of the net to challenge him, Coffey blew it by him, and the Penguins have popped the Hawks to three. The draw won cleanly right back to Coffey, but the key play, Callender. Callender interfered with Larmer, didn't allow him to get up to his point. Larmer was knocked down. Coffey was able to walk into the top of the circle with a clear alley, and he just blew it by Cloutier to the glove side, just inside the near post. Reverse angle, the draw one. Stevens gets it back to Coffee. Larmer interfered with, slowed up so he couldn't get to the point man, and Coffee just blew it by Cloutier. Coffee from Lemieux and Stevens at 627, and a whole new ball game now as the Hawks' three power play goals in the first have been answered by the Penguins with three in the second. Here's Lemieux working in behind the net. Lemieux fending off a checker, trying to center it. A long shot, and a save by Cloutier. Rebound scramble in front of the net, and a hand pass. Ron Finn making the call, ruling the calendar. Moved it with a glove ahead to a teammate, and the whistle stops the play. The Penguins on fire here in the second period, and just over 16,000 are loving it here in the Civic Arena. Well, the Penguins, have played, this is their third game in four nights. Played last night against the Devils. Played Wednesday night here against Washington. Down 3 nothing. you think the big edge for Chicago have played Wednesday. The Penguins with two goals in the first two minutes and 22 seconds, and now a goal by Coffey, and the game is all tied up. Dumped into the Penguin zone. Roy Murray bumped along the board. Yanni trying to hold it in. Couldn't do it. Out come the Penguins. John Cullen to the near side leap. Jamie Lee to the near point. Tees it up. Shooting. Luce gloves it. And he'll hang on. Here come the Hawks. Roenick motoring in, shooting, hit the goal post. Jeremy Roenick flying down the far side. Walked around a check and beat Young only to have it hit the post. Now back behind the Penguin net. Young put it to the near side. There's Roenick trying to dig it out of the corner. 
He does. Walks in front. Shooting. Young the save. And the rebound to the Penguin. Who clear it to center right. Doug Wilson is there to Brown. Keith Brown hammers it back in. And Kachowski failed to clear it. Brown again shoots one right on. And a save by Young. And he gives no rebound. 12 minutes for the second period. 3-3. We pause for a regional break. Here's the draw on the Penguin zone. Dan Quinn doubles it around the board. Wilson trying to hold it in. He did. Now Zalapski gave it a Quinn behind the net. Dan Quinn leaves it there, and Zalapski now will get the Penguins organized. Darley Zalapski sends it ahead to McBain. He rolled it to center, the Hawks dumping it back in. Zalapski will try again. Standing behind the goal, now a long feed picked off by Doug Wilson at center. Beating Graham over the line, who centers it, deflected to Wilson, a shot, Young, big save. Rebound to Jim Johnson, and he bounces it out to center ice. McBain lost it as he came over the line. Now Graham is back for it, bearing to center ice. Here's Adam Creighton trying to move in there, but Andrew McBain took him off the puck. Zalapski, a feed picked off by Yanni. Back behind the net for Creighton. He sent it a shot. Young, great save on Larmer. A bang-bang play from the Hawks, but Wendell Young shut the door. Now back in the Penguin zone. Callender just hammers it down into Chicago territory. Conroy scurries back forward around the boards to Yanni. Brent Yanni now to Savard. Stepping into the Penguin zone. Savard on coffee to the corner. Now it's kicked loose to Thomas, whose pass is picked off for a moment, and Thomas got it back, mishandled it in traffic, and it's cleared back to the center ice area. Now Doug Wilson doesn't have a stick. He tries to pin it up against the boards in front of the Penguin bench. And Hogar says play on. A couple of the Hawks trying to get in there to help Wilson freeze it. And now it's cleared back into the Penguin zone. Paul Coffey bounced it to center. Corral there by Steve Conroy. Now Brown tips it ahead. Coffey had it but lost it to Larmer. And finally the Penguins get to it. Here's Hillier into the Hawks zone. His pass didn't get through Conroy. Steve Conroy starting Chicago back, put it to Savard. Now Larmer on right wing, steps over the line, shoots one, and is saved by Young. Rebound cleared back into the Chicago zone, taken by McGill. He flipped it down into Penguin territory, and Young cleared it to the near side. Eagles is there, got it to Bob Murray. His shot is blocked at the Penguin defense, and now Rob Brown. Cleared it ahead. Here's Lemieux. He's in. Oh, he's going to be offside if he touches it. He knows that, so he lets the Hawks touch it first. And now the whistle sounds anyway. Apparently Lemieux did touch the puck before anybody else, and he disagrees with it. But you can see Lemieux with a great sense of where he is and what's happening. He knew if he touched that puck, he was going to be offside, so he let it go. Matt Foley and Dale Talon back in Pittsburgh as the draw is cleared into the Penguin zone. Roenick on his backhand against Brown to the corner. He's knocked heavily into the corner. And it came loose to the line. Doug Wilson lets it go. Young stopped it. Rebound back to Wilson. Fires tip. Oh, it hit Cullen and deflected wide. And then it came in front. Here's a great chance for Creighton. He never did shoot it. Adam Creighton all alone in front of the goal. Never did get a shot away with a goaltender down and out. And out to center it goes. Collins for Rob Brown. Cutting in over the line, but his pass is deflected to Keith Brown. He feeds Creighton to center. Sends it into the Penguin zone. Deneen swung it around the boards. Recky on the far side. There it to center ice, and the Hawks dump it in. 
Lord Deneen. Tied up, stolen by Presley, but then he lost the handle. Came to the near side, and the Penguins' Cullen cleared it ahead for Rob Brown. Over the hog line, cutting in, centered it. Nice play by Yanni. That Yanni broke up the pass, and now a penalty is coming up as a Penguin went sliding into the hog goal, and Pittsburgh heads to the power play. It's Chicago 3 and Pittsburgh 3. they're ready here's the draw taken by Wilson and he's able to bang it down into the penguin zone Zarly Zalabski gave it to Quinn now feeding ahead to Coffee. Coffee for Stevens on the near side Stevens trying to cut for the net lost the handle as he wanted to stuff it in now over to the far corner Troy Murray kicked it loose Taken by Wilson, he turns and hoists it into the center ice area. Now taken by Brown back in his own end, and he cleared it to the Penguin line. There's a steal by Larmer now. Larmer works it into the Penguins. Only going to be two on one. Here's Troy Murray cutting in, centered it. Coffey went sprawling to the ice to break up the pass. A minute to go on the Pittsburgh power play. John Cullen gains the line. Left it for Rob Brown. Brown on the far side to the line and Coffey near point Bork. Back to Coffey. Graham harassed him, but into the corner it comes to Cullen. Around to the far side, Lemieux. Deep slot, Coffey, the long shot. Tip, hit the goal post. Rebound, another post. Came loose in front and cleared to the line. Two posts for the Penguins and Rob Brown. Now a steal by the Hawks, Yanni. Cleared it to Larmer, two on two. Chris crossing over the Penguin line. Fakes the shot, walks in, shooting. Young, great save. Boy, Paul Coffey just allowing Larmer to walk right in, and Young able to bail him out. Lemieux the other way for Coffey, the shot. Couchier got a piece of that as he was falling back toward the net. Now, Wilson jams up along the boards, able to bang it out to center. Savard racing after it there. Gets to a two on one, cutting and shoot. Young the save. Wendell Young, a brilliant second period here for the Penguins. Now the Hawk penalty is over. Both teams at full strength. Here comes Lemieux. Peels off on the far side and then gave it away to Conroy. Steve Conroy into the Pittsburgh zone. His shot. He scores! Conroy, a laser beam from just inside the line. Off the far post and in as Coffey backed in again. 4-3 Hawks. All the chances that the Blackhawks have had with snipers Young has come up with a big save. Conroy, a defensive defenseman, gets his second goal of the season with a blast just inside the line. He looked like he was going to dump it in. Lemieux tied up by Savard, a much smaller player, forcing Lemieux to cough it up to Conroy. Conroy looks to dump it in, then sees the defense back in, crosses the line about eight feet inside, off the post and in, beating Young to the glove side. And the Blackhawks kill off the power play and come right back and score at even strength to take a 4-3 lead. Conroy's second of the year is unassisted at 14-39. And Chicago is back out in front. Here come the Penguins, though. Recky into the hog zone. Turns behind the netter. That's Jim Johnson. Johnson leaves it behind the hog goal. Here's Leach digging it out. Put it into the near corner. Now Recky. Poked it free along the board. Leach. Put it back to Recky to lead. Quick shot and a great save by Boucher. And he goes down to cover it up just under five minutes for the second. 4-3 Chicago. This is Chicago Blackhawk hockey. Now the draw in the Chicago zone. Thomas comes away with it. Has Ronick on the move. Puts him over the line. Kicked it right to his stick. And then he couldn't pull the trigger. As Hillier recovered nicely to break up the rush. And Quinn, there's going to be a Hawk penalty. Quinn over the line to Coffey. Coffey to the corner, centered it. Luce blocked the pass. Held in by Hillier, his shot. Luce, another save. Rebound again to the Penguins. Into the corner it goes. Now behind the Hawk net, Coffey. All Coffey tied up. The Hawks control. The whistle sounds. The Penguins head back to the power play. As Bill Bork had been yanked down approaching the Hawk line. 
Roy Murray will get a hooking penalty or a holding penalty. He spun Bork around after Hillier did a fine defensive job of coming from behind Jeremy Rowling. Rowling appeared to have a step on him and a pass from Thomas as the pass is on the money. Rowling is in clearly, but it was at his feet. He kicked it ahead, and then Hillier with a good defensive play. The Penguins counter. Bork spun around, and the Penguins again to the power play. So Chevrier back in, and the game of musical goaltenders continues for the Hawks. Face off to his right. Here's the draw to the Penguins. Coffee to the deep slot. Now put it across to Lemieux. Back to Coffee. Here's the long shot. Chevrier the save rebound. Came to the left. He scores. Chevrier went down on the first shot. Never could get back up. Zalapski on the power play goal ties it at four. Zalapski let it go on the fly. He was moving backwards and let it go quickly. Chevrier made a great save on a deflected shot. And that's it for Chevrier. Back to the bench. With Chevrier lunges to his right. Can't get back up in the quick shot by Zalapski with Chevrier on his back. And it's a 4-4 game. Finally, the Penguins score on the power play. They're now 1-4. for four, And it's a 4-4 game with 3.58 to go in the second period. Darley Zalapski in just his 13th game of the year because he suffered a broken collarbone earlier. Scores his first goal of the season, and which they would refer to here in Pittsburgh as a Zalap shot. And this game is tied at four. Zalapski from Lemieux and Stevens at 16.02. And Ruche is right back in the game. Here's it is in the hog zone. Kachowski in the slot couldn't pull the trigger. It's cleared back to the Penguin line. Zalapski. Got it down to Chicago territory. Conroy back. Put it around the board. Steve Thomas. Got it loose to Troy Murray. Pushed it into the Penguin zone. Graham quick stop to the near side, but he went down on the board. Stolen away by Johnson. And he failed to clear it. Here's Troy Murray. Unable to advance it to the front of the net. The Penguins shoot it back into the Chicago zone. Keith Brown looking for Doug Wilson. He couldn't hold the pass. Now Wilson in his own end. To the far side, eluding Larmer. And the Penguins' Jim Tight gave it to Johnson. Bearing it down into the hog zone, and this is going to be an icing call against the Penguins. Down to two and a half minutes remaining in the second period. Penguin zone, Gord Deneen behind the net, got it to the near side, picked up by the Penguins, Cullen, John Cullen gains the line, trying to center it, bounce in front of shot, great save by Cloutche, a fortunate hop right to Phil Bork, but Cloutche sliding to his right, able to make the stop, Yanni dumps it down the other way, Young plays it to the far side, and now Deneen Flips it to center ice. Cullen knocked flying by Bob Murray. And now Wayne Presley gets it back into the Penguins zone. Has Thomas wide open. Gave it to him. He shoots one and a save by Young. The pass was a tough one to handle for Thomas as he couldn't quite get it right to his forehand when he wanted to. Bob Brown's shot sails wide. Up on the mesh behind the net. And now Hogarth sounds the whistle. Well, Presley with Thomas on the off wing put it in front of him Thomas wanted it behind him because he wanted to pull the trigger quickly he was too far in front for a backhand shot so he had to make an extra move and didn't get much on the attempt Rob Brown who is coming off a terrific season played most of the time with Mario Lemieux scored 49 goals last season but only 8 so far this year the Penguins trying to find the answers to getting him out of that 
goal scoring slump. The points have been coming, but not the goals the way they were last year for Rob Brown. Shot an unbelievable 29% last year. Well, playing Don't with a, view, a lot an of awful lot of those were tap in to an open side. Playing with a great Mario. Here are the Hawks three on three. Larmer to Wilson. Cuts into the slot. Fires. He scores. Doug Wilson, a cannonball from the slot right through Young. And it's 5 3 in favor of the Hawks. 5 4. Young made some good saves early on in the period on Doug Wilson, but this one partially screened, and Young was in the process of going down and in and out before he could blink an eye. Doug Wilson continues at torrid scoring pace for two goals in a win over Toronto and pumps it by Young to give the Blackhawks a 5-4 lead. Doug Wilson with his 12th. Larmer and Brown assisting at 18-59. Here come the Penguins trying to answer. Back of the net though, Larmer digs it loose to Creighton. Adam Creighton bounced it to the center ice area. And with 40 seconds left in the period, Coffee back over the Hawk line. Got it to the far side, Stevens. He centered it. Lemieux couldn't find the handle. Now he does along the board. Lemieux drops it for Hillier. Far point to Coffee. His long shot. Luce a blocker save. Rebound Stevens. Back of the net to Lemieux. Mario Lemieux centered it. Luce blocked the pass. Lemieux again. Trying to fend off a check. Rolled it loose into the corner. Taken there by Larmer. And Steve Larmer will just fire it back into the Penguin zone. Young has to play it with Larmer uh, Creighton hustling. That washes out the icing, and that also washes out the second period. Here's the draw. Paul Coffey steps to the line, shooting. Pucci fought it off but made the stop. Rebound Keith Brown. Has some trouble with the loose puck. Lost it to Lemieux. He's centered. Picked off by Creighton, but he couldn't clear it. Into the near corner, Keith Brown. And he flies it back into the Penguin zone. Taken by Randy Hillier. Took a bump from Thomas and Graham Stolen. A quick shot. Big save by Young as the Hawks moved it nicely to Creighton. But Young from post to post. Here comes Stevens with a long drive. Missing the Hawk net. Taken by Conroy. Avoiding a hit and feeds Graham on the right side. There's Graham. Trying to send it ahead. Picked off by the Penguins. Lemieux. Mario Lemieux cleared it to center ice where the Penguins dump it into the Blackhawk zone. Here's Jeremy Roenick. Lost it in his own end to McBain, but Yoni got it back. Or Conroy on the far board. Conroy looking for Secord who couldn't hold the pass. Bouncing around at center. McBain over the Hawk line. Dropped it to Quinn. His shot hit the side of the goal. Rebound in behind. Gathered in by Steve Conroy. And now here comes Ronick. Ronick flips it down into the Penguin zone. Recky on the far board. Got it to McBain. He couldn't get it out, but Jim Johnson will. Johnson got around Graham. Got it over the Hawk line. Trying to move in on Savard, but Dennis rolls him, rides him into the corner. Now the Penguins trying to center. Came loose to the line. Zalapsky held it in. Near board to Rob Brown. Got it into the corner. John Cullen is tied up by Bob Murray. Now Recky trying to pry it loose. He did. Rob Brown sent it a shot. Cloutier! Big save on Rob Brown. It was right on the doorstep. And Jacques Cloutier keeps his team in front. And now a scuffle in the corner as Bob Murray and Brown had tangled. And everybody gathers around, but it's starting to cool off. Good save by Cloutier on Cullen. Bob Murray had him in the corner and then let him get a step on him. Then he was able to get back out in front and get a shot away. After he let the shot go, he and Murray roughed up each other, but no damage done as the rest of the players milled around in the corner. But Luce stacks the pads on Cullen. Cullen pulls away and goes up front. McGill had pinched in. Two right-handed defensemen playing together, and meanwhile... Here's that Janine is being administered to. And now Janine is coming back. Don't tell me Skip there has re-injured himself <laughs> in the game in Chicago. He pulled a hamstring on the bench and had to be helped to the Flares' room. 
Now it's dumped into the Penguin zone. Van Dorf into the corner. Poked it free to the near side. Brown holds it in for a moment, but the Penguins now come up with it. Paul Coffey had a goal and two assists in the second period. He shoots right on, and a save by Cloutier. Rebound to Van Dorf. Cleared it to the near side. Taken by Larmer, who banks it ahead to Savard at center. Savard steps over the line. The trailer is Wilson. He couldn't find the handle on the pass. And the Penguins clear it to center, where Presley shoots it back in. Coffey got it to Callender. Forced to turn in his own end. Now on the near side, Kevin Stevens got it to Callender. Callender rolled it over the Hawk line. Hillier put it to Lemieux in the deep slot. And his pass is stolen, and Conroy got it back the other way. Coming to the near side, the Penguins able to touch it first, and that'll be an icing call against Chicago. Early in the third, 5-4 Hawks. 16.53 to go in the third period. The Blackhawks clinging to a 5-4 lead. They've never lost this year when they've had the lead after two periods. of 10 wins and one tie. Meanwhile, the Penguins have only come from behind once in 12 times that they've trailed after two. In the Blackhawk zone, Luce put it to the far side. Thomas puts it over everybody's head, and it winds up in the seat. So the whistle sounds. What a great crowd here at the Civic Arena. The last four years, the Penguins have had their best averages attendance-wise. Four of the five years that Lemieux has been here. Now here's the draw taken by Brown, clearing the center ice. Deneen banks it ahead. Wilson steals. Puts it to Jeremy Roenick. He put it to Thomas over the line. His pass didn't get through. Taken by Phil Bork. Bork ahead to Rob Brown on right wing. Brown feeding Bork to the hog line. Wilson had him lined up, and Bork had to cough it up. Now Wilson... Feeds Keith Brown, and he flipped it down into the Penguin zone. They're going to say he didn't come to center ice, though, and the icing call will be made against Chicago. You never know when they're going to call an icing or not. It's just amazing. Uh, some night they let everything go, and then that particular situation looked very close. A lot of times a close situation like that, they let it go. It's got to be very difficult for defensemen. And now they made a new rule. The next year they're going to move the goal line a foot out from the board. Quick turnaround shot by McVeigh. Nice save. That was Recky, rather. Nice save by Cloutier. And Eagles has the rebound. Eagles motoring to center right. Pushed it into the Penguin zone. Jim Johnson and Graham collide heavily in the corner. Now Quinn came up with it. Rolled it to center right. Mark Recky knocked down by Conroy. And the play continues as the fans holler in dismay here in Pittsburgh. Dan Quinn trying to send it ahead. Picked off by Adam Creighton. Put it down into the Penguin zone and Zalapski. Darley Zalapski clearing for Recky. He was stopped by Bob Murray. Now the Penguins dump it in. McGill is back. Bob McGill has room as Pittsburgh is changing. He pounds it down into the Penguin zone. Taken by Coffey. All Coffey got it to Callender on right wing at center. Got Callender over the Hawk line. Left it for Lemieux. Moving in. Put it in behind the net. A centering pass. Blocked by the Hawks. Couldn't get it out though. There's now the net knocked off the moorings as Hillier was ready to shoot. And so the whistle stops the play. Jacques Cloutier who's had a an excellent season for the Blackhawks. Replace Chevrier at 2.22 of the second period. It's a bit of a break there. It looked like the Penguins were going to get a good shot away. Some traffic in the goal crease and a stoppage in play as a result in a faceoff almost to the blue line. Mario Lemieux has a goal and one assist in the game so far tonight. He was originally given a second assist, but on the list fourth Penguin goal. They changed that assist from Lemieux to Coffey. So Mario with one and one. Coffey one and two so far tonight. Here's Hillier in the hog zone. Put it in behind the net. Lemieux there trying to center it. Luce blocked the pass. Lemieux again. 
Put it out in front, stolen by the Hawks, and now the goal dislodged again. With a lot of pushing and shoving going on right on the doorstep. Well, Lemieux draws the crowd wherever he goes, and that sometimes is very dangerous. Get magnetized by Lemieux's presence, and then that leaves a couple of players open in the slot area. Hawks get a break there because they had three guys chasing Lemieux in the corner. Stevens and Wilson have had an ongoing feud all night in front of the Hawk net. They both bumped into the goalpost once again, knocking it loose. Kevin Stevens out of Boston College, and what a wonderful opportunity for him to play with the great number 66, Lemieux. Or, uh, Stevens prior to this year had scored 17 goals in 40 games in the league. And Stevens benefiting from Lemieux's presence with 14 goals so far this year. He has three assists in tonight's game. Here's the draw to Coffee. Let's it go. Tip. Oh, deflected just wide. And the Hawks bang it back into the Penguin zone. Paul Coffey, one of only six defensemen to achieve over 600 assists in his career. Cleared it out to center. Stevens motors in on Wilson. Forced in behind the net. Knocked down. He still centered it. And Kuche blocked the pass. Now Lemieux behind the goal. Lemieux walked out in front. Centered it. Troy Murray blocked the pass. Now Wilson gathers it in. And sends it into the Penguin zone. Graham racing after it. But Wendell Young out to sweep it away from him. Ronick keeps it in. Big hit along the boards, but Ronick paid the price to make the play. However, the Penguins able to clear it, but right back over the line is Thomas. Trying to move into the slot. He's knocked off the puck. Ronick to the corner after it. Bounce it to the line. Conroy, his long shot. Young, the toe save. Rebound to the near side. Hawks keep it in there. Thomas in the corner. Left it there for Ronick. He's hammered from behind by Hillier. Now Thomas trying to dig it out, but his pass is stolen. Here comes Bork. Bill Bork over the Hawk line, shooting up off the glass. Rebound to, to the far side, and Thomas got it to center before Coffey took it away. Puts Rob Brown into the Hawk zone. Feeding to Bork, whose drop pass is picked off by Larmer. And now Thomas sends it down into the Penguin zone. 13 minutes left in the third period. Five to four in favor of the Hawks. As Jim Kite tied up by Savard in the Penguin zone. Now poke free to the near side. And Gord Deneen reverses it to the far board. Held in by Wilson into the corner. Savard, he centered it. Bouncing around Van Dorp. Couldn't find the handle in front. Cullen does. And John Cullen now got it to center ice. And Jim Kite lost it as he came to the Hawk line. Keith Brown got it back into the Pittsburgh zone. Lord Deneen cleared it ahead to Dan Quinn. Quinn over the Hawk line, trying to center it. Recky had it at his feet, couldn't pull the trigger. And Eagles the other way. Eagles got it behind the Penguin net. Ronick trying to center it, couldn't get it into the slot area. Big scramble along the boards, and Recky came up with it for Rob Brown on right wing over the line. Brown centered it. Here's Quinn. Couldn't pull the trigger as Secor gave him a rough ride into the corner. And back comes Eagles the other way. He'll dump it in as the Hawks head for a change. Here's Zarley Zalapski. His pass hits the leg, and now the Penguins Able to work it loose to center ice. Zalapski tied up by Thomas, who took it away. Got it into the Pittsburgh zone. Creighton into the corner. Turns behind the net and lost the handle on it as it cleared back to the center ice area. Hawks dump it in. Jim Johnson for Pittsburgh. Bounced it right back to center ice. And Larmer flipped it back into Penguin territory. Randy Hillier got it to center. Larmer steals another one, then Hillier got it back. Over the line to Callender for Lemieux. Centered one. Too far for Stevens in front. And Steve Larmer poked it free to center right. Where Van Dorp whacks it in there. Taken by Coffey. 
coughs it up. Here's Larmer. Oh, then Coffey recovered beautifully. Here come the Penguins three on two. Coffey taken off the puck by Doug Wilson beautifully. And Keith Brown able to get away from a check. Brown poked it around to the near side. Here's Lemieux. He centered it too far for Callender in front. Hillier kept it in. Back of the goal, Callender. Doc Callender's pass deflecting to Van Dorp. And he pushed it to center ice. We're halfway through the third period. Five to four in favor of the Blackhawks. And now an offside call made against the Penguins. It's Chicago five and Pittsburgh four. It's in the Penguins' zone. Secord looking for Savard in front, but Cullen picked it off to Rob Brown. He put it to Bork over the line. His shot, and Luce is 6 eight. Rebound to Secord. And a penalty is going to be called as McGill drove Bork into the end boards after he took the shot. And McGill's going to be sent off. Penguins for the power play. Hawks lead it 5-4. to four. We pause for a regional break. The first penalty of the third period, Bob McGill for holding at 10-18. And then Bork into the end boards and gets a holding penalty, and the Penguins get their fifth opportunity with the man advantage. They're one for four. All coffee deep in his own end. And I'll wind it up. Lost the handle, but Zalaski carries on. Banked it to center. Here comes Stevens putting Lemieux over the line. Lemieux left it for Coffey to the far side. Zalapski rolled it up the board. Now to the near point. Coffey got it to Zalapski. A shot. Wilson deflecting it wide. He picks it up and clears it down all the way. Well, Wilson deflects the shot and then hustles to the corner and gets the loose puck and clears it. Outstanding game for Doug Wilson. Again. Here's Coffey back into the hog zone. Lost it in traffic. That's the circle at center. Now Dan Quinn swings it around the board. Into the corner, Lemieux. Back of the net to Stevens. Far side, Quinn. For Stevens behind the net. Now leaves it there for Lemieux. Trying to center it. Coffee a shot. Hit somebody in front. Lemieux gathers it in. And his feet is picked off. Taken by Steve Larmer. Larmer put it down into the Penguin zone. And 45 seconds left in this Pittsburgh power play. All coffee for John Cullen. Over the Hawk line is pass to flex to Keith Brown. And he bounced it out to center right. Here's Presley. One on one with Zalapsky to his backhand. And then peels off to waste a little time. And Coffey takes over for the Penguins. Lifts it out to center right. Field by Presley. Got it to Savard over the line for Presley. Then Savard a shot, and he just missed the near post with that. Now the Penguin Collins. Forced to turn by Savard. Got it to Coffey. He's tied up along the board. The Hawks clear it, and the penalty is over. Both teams back at full strength. Jumped down into the Blackhawks zone. Now taken by Conroy. He got it to center. Here's Creighton bouncing it into the Penguin zone. Young shot it to the near board. Here's Leach to Recky. Mark Recky races into the hot zone shooting. Luce doesn't know where it is after he made the save. Now it came loose to the far side. Rob Brown trying to keep it in, but Creighton battles it loose to center right. Taken by Jim Johnson. Johnson. Dumping it in. Luce cleared it himself back to the neutral area. Now the Penguins put it back into the Chicago zone. Luce tries again and is successful getting it to center. Going to be a two-on-one. No, a late change for the Penguins makes it two-on-two. A centering pass picked off by Young. And Wendell Young to the near side and Leach. Amy Leach's pass picked off by Thomas. Back in on... The Penguin defense trying to shoot one and a save by Young as tight road Thomas into the end board. 
Now Troy Murray trying to stuff it in, and a save by Young. Where's the puck? A big scramble in front. No whistle yet. Now it sounds as Hogarth apparently had the puck located until just a second ago, just over six minutes ago in the third. We've had all kinds of offense in this game, but the Rangers and Islanders have had no offense, no score in overtime. Ben Beesbrook and Fitzpatrick in the net. We've had a scoreless third period here tonight after a six-goal second. And the Penguins trying to do something about that. Trailing the Hawks 5-4. Kevin Stevens trying to center one. Picked off in front. And Larmer got it down into the Penguin zone. Jock Callender. Gave it to Hillier. Flipped it ahead to Lemieux. Puts it down behind the Chicago goal. Doug Wilson is on it there. Going for the long breakaway to Savard. It just eludes him back into the Pittsburgh again. Taken by Hillier on the far side. He gave it away to Savard. Cuts right in alone. Savard the shot. He didn't get anything on a rebound. And a save by Young. Just as Savard was ready to shoot, the puck flopped up on him. And he basically whiffed on the attempt. But then Young had to make a sprawling rebound save as well. Well, Savard's had some tough luck this year around the net. Hillier, who's had a strong game, falling to the ice, tries to clear it. Savard circles, picks it off, moves in all alone, takes a look. Just as he goes to pull the trigger, the puck flutters, and he gets hardly anything on it. And then the rebound attempt, Pope, but Young was able to prevent it from crossing the line. Savard trying to go upstairs to the glove side under the crossbar, but as he went to pull the trigger, the puck flipped up and he got nothing on it. Bard, who has a goal and an assist in this game, his ninth goal. Gives the Hawks a 2-0 lead at 5.52 of the first period. Savard had not gotten a point in the last three Hawk games, but he's certainly been very strong tonight. Now here's the play to center. John Cullen weaves over the Hawk line, stepped on Yanni's stick and went down. And the Penguins will be forced to dump it in. Conroy is on it. Tips it up the boards into Pittsburgh territory, and Zarley Zalapski with five minutes left. Saves Jim Johnson. Now to Bork, racing over the Hawk line. Conroy knocks him down with a good hit along the board. And Van Dorp just flips it back to the center ice area. Larmer picks it up there into the Pittsburgh zone. Shooting up high and a save by Young. And now a couple of players go crashing into the Penguin net. And the whistle sounds. Four and a half to go in the third. Steve Larmer lets a rocket go from the left wing. Young makes the save. Ronick goes crashing into the net. No call. He's pulled down. And E.J. McGuire, the assistant coach, just below us, almost made this an X-rated show. Now, <laughs> well, here's the I hope these mics aren't too sensitive. Here's the draw in the Penguin zone taken by Quinn. He cleared it to center. Wilson bangs it back in there. Now Deneen. Or Deneen. Bangs it to center ice. Taken by Mark Recchi on left wing over the line. Recchi trying to walk in on Brown. Pete Brown played the body beautifully and the puck is cleared back to the Penguin zone. Jim Kite rambles back forth. Now has a problem with Troy Murray, who nearly stole it. Secord on the far side. Finally had it kicked loose to center. And the Hawks shoot it back behind the Penguin net. Quinn. Dan Quinn ahead to Mark Recchi. He's corralled by Conroy, who's had a strong game for the Blackhawks. He took it away and gave it to Secord. Secord over the line, around Deneen to the corner. Now they collide behind the net. And it came out of there to Lemieux. He lost it to Secord. A turnaround shot, and he missed the target. Now it's cleared up over the boards and into the Pittsburgh bench. Just over three minutes left to go in regulation time. Steve Conrad with a goal and a strong defensive performance. Mike Keenan, Conrad, and Brown have been paired up all season long, but he switched defense pairings tonight. Keith Brown has moved up with Doug Wilson. Conroy has played with Trent Yanni, who's played on the outside. And Bob Murray and 
Bob McGill have played together sparingly, but they played more in the third period than they did the entire game. So Keenan has gone to six defensemen here in the middle part of the third. Now he's paired it down to four in the last four or five minutes of the period. Now the Pittsburgh zone. In the near corner is Graham trying to center it. Nobody home in front for the Hawks, and out comes Callender. Beating Stevens at center. Kevin Stevens gains the line. Shoots one. Kupchak loving it. He'll clear it himself to Graham. Eric Graham bangs it down into the Penguin zone. Thomas on the near side. Thomas tees it up, but his shot missed the net. Conroy able to keep it in. For Savard along the board. Rolled it into the corner. Larmer and Coffey come together there. And Savard trying to pry it free. Finally, it does come loose, but the Penguins Hillier now knocked down a steal by Eagles. He centered it. Larmer too well covered, though, by Callender. And Josh Callender rolled it to center right. Back into the Penguin zone. Coffey found it. Two minutes remaining. Here's a Savard steal. Savard far side shooting. Hit the goal post. Dennis Savard with a couple of great chances here in the third, and that one hit the post, and Larmer centered, but it's picked off by the Penguins' Randy Hilliard. Pittsburgh can't get out of their own end. Great four checking by the Blackhawks. Here's Van Dorp in the corner. He's tied up there. And now Troy Murray hits hard from behind. And a scuffle right along the near side. As the play was being whistled, dead Coffey just railroaded Troy Murray into the boards and put him nose first into the glass and uh, a little scuffle there, but now they're separated. Just under two minutes to go in the third period, Chicago five, Pittsburgh four. This is Chicago Blackhawk hockey. Coincidental penalties to Coffey and Troy Murray, and here's a draw to Jim Johnson back of the net. Penguins have had a real tough time getting out of their own zone the last few minutes. Here's a Thomas steal, and he put it in there deep. Jim Johnson up the board for Rob Brown. He gave it to Bork. Bill Bork for Cullen. He flipped it down into the hog zone. Graham is back. There's Graham. Knocked down, but he rolled it away to center ice and Thomas. Steve Thomas with a long shot and a save by Young. 70 seconds to go. 5-4 Hawks. As the Penguins clear to center. Broken up there by Yanni. Jumping it back in. Darley Zalapski. Lost it behind the net to Savard. Trying to stuff it in. Young just got to the near post in time. And he covers it up with 55 seconds to go. The Blackhawks have not sat back. They have not allowed the Penguins to come to them with a 5-4 lead. They've been playing the Blackhawks have like they were down by a goal. They've just dominated the second half of this period. They've had great forechecking. They've always had one guy back. They've done a tremendous job of protecting the lead and they've just taken it to the Penguins and allowed them to cough it up in their own zone. A timeout now called by the Penguins. Meanwhile, if the Blackhawks are able to hang on to this lead, they'll have an opportunity to maybe catch the North Stars for the top spot in the North Division. Chicago ended the play tonight just one point behind Minnesota, and the Blackhawks, at this point of the season, have fully doubled their point total of a year ago. The Hawks with 32 points entering play tonight, 16 better than they were last year at a similar time. Face off to the left of Young. 55 seconds left. 5-4 Chicago. Now the draw. Here's Creighton moving behind the net, trying to stuff it in, and he couldn't complete the move. And again, the Penguins can't get it out of their own zone. Zalapski. Darley Zalapski. Banks it ahead to center and Lemieux. Here comes Young to the bench. Lemieux dumping it in. Six attackers on for Pittsburgh. On the near side, Graham. And it cleared he did. Back into the Pittsburgh zone. Thomas racing after it. Going to get there for the empty net. Hawks win. Steve Thomas with his second goal of the game. This one into the empty net. 
And it's six for Chicago. I'll give Cloutier the big plus on this goal. Lemieux dumped it in. Cloutier picked it up. Instead of going along the far boards where the Penguins had put a lot of players to jam, he went the other way in the back end along the boards to Graham. Creighton was there too. He swatted it into the neutral zone. Thomas on the far wing just outskated everyone to get to the loose puck and score a second goal of the game. His 11th of the year, an empty netter with 27 seconds to go, but it was Cloutier going against the flow, going to the backhand that made the play in his own zone. They give assist to Graham and Creighton on Thomas's 11th goal of the year at 19.33. And the Penguins under Craig Patrick are going to taste defeat for the first time. Here they come now. Here comes Young to the bench again. A sixth attacker situation for Pittsburgh, but the Hawks clear it to center. Lemieux dumps it in. Five seconds left. Over to the far corner goes Conroy. Poked loose along the board. Hawks win. The Chicago Blackhawks pick up their second victory in just their last nine road games, but an important win here tonight against the charged-up Pittsburgh team when their new management situation. Blackhawks pick up their 15th, 